You can obviously tell this is going to get very ugly very fast. This is part 23 or so of Pokemon XD Gale in the Darkness. Yeah, this next fight is where things are gonna get absolutely bad. Yeah, you know what's gonna you know what's about to happen next. And a shame I don't have the TM for Reflect. That would actually be useful for my Umbra for my Espion. Anyway, time to head inside. And there he is. <laughs> now this is quite a surprise. You managed to defeat Ardos. Of course, you have also beaten so many of my followers. Perhaps it's no surprise that you won. I must say, I haven't been this excited in a long time. I do have an appreciation for the strong, you see. However, I also cannot allow your interference. My Shadow Pokémon plan is nearing completion. So for the time being, I think I will have you securely out of the way right where you are now. You gotta be serious. He has to lock us out of there. Fine. Looks like we have another fight on our hands. Yep, we have another fight against another admin. Gory kid. <laughs> it's me again, kid. You know, it makes me kind of happy to see you since I've seen you so often. But the way you keep beating me, my cred's taking a beating. Aye! So Master Green will give me this one last chance to redeem myself. But this is it. If I lose this one, there's no tomorrow. Here goes. Now we face the third admin, Gorgon. He starts the fight with a Slow King and an Ursa Ring. Yeah, this guy's got a nasty little gimmick of his. Earthquake. And I'd rather not want to deal with that. Of course, he's also using the protect strategy. Ah, the special defense is down. Unfortunately, because it's not stab and plus slow feet attacks not that great, these guys will tank. Another special defense drop. Break, break, oh my god, no, Nuzleaf! You are so gonna pay for that, which is why I brought a weapon of my own. Yeah, fly gun. Please tell me he did not. Oh my god. Yup, my plan may have sunk. He froze my Espeon. Yeah, I'm sorry, but no protecting for you. Nice, Nuzleaf is now 45. He's only four levels away until I can make him a shift three. And now it sends out an Agron. I better, I better put him, get him out of this.
That's some impressive impact right there. And now Gorgon sends out a wall ray. it for me. Fine. Yep, it's using Earthquake again. Problem is, is that Flygon has Levitate. Meaning you can't do Squat. Better hit hard if I'm gonna have any chance. Yeah, wall ring can take it like it's nothing. Wall rain responds with a double edge. You did all you could, my friend. Thank you. Nuzli, I'm counting on you. Nuts, its defense took a nosedive. As I predicted. I was not gonna let him do anything stupid. Oh, so much for that. Sends out a polyrath. Yeah, but Shadow Pokemon, a fully evolved one at that. Polyrath's using Shadow Rush. Frost, I'm counting on you. Flying on falls. Fine, time to bring out my own secret weapon. Now Polyrath's using a Shadow Sky! Well, oh, that ought to do it. Wall rank can tank. Well, I'd better hurry and take it down now. Yeah, better put that netball to work.
Nothing personal, Gorgon, but I gotta do this. That ball multiplies the capture rate of water and bug types by three. As it should. Now it sends out Mr. Mine! Another Shadow Pokemon. Like I said, this game gets ridiculous in terms of difficulty spikes. Yeah, there you go. This here is a fierce fight, and I couldn't have it any other way. Now it's using Shadow Storm. Oh, that might be bad. Like I said, this is bad. Shadow Storm and Shadow Shed. Let's put a charm up there. The paralysis certainly works. And just in time, too, because the shadow aura finally faded away. I know I should not do that, but I'm making sure that before the end of the game, I'm tackling the real game tower and then we do the final battle. Too close. That did it. Gorgon falls. Ah, we're doomed! Blah. That was the very last chance Master Greville gave me. How could I keep losing to some kid over and over? There were a tree I'd climb it to get away from all this. You're not wrong about that. Okay. This game is where things are going to get really deadly. 
And I gotta make sure I have more than enough money to stock up on healing items. Because the end game is near. But considering at this rate, I may as well just stock up on hyper potions. Checking Pokemon storage, box one's already full. Which means that any Pokemon that I get after this is in box two. Him only has a black belt, silver powder. Just damn. I got a ways to go. Some types are basically more of annoyance to deal with than others. Now I understand the meaning behind it all. Hopefully once they're all purified, I'll, have, I'll get to work on adding a fire type in. Oh yeah, I still have to. Either way, we need to move, because we got a few more fights left. You won't quit being a pest, will ya? Now we face off against Colax. He starts the fight with a Glalie and an Alphoros. Lucky for us, we have our own. You're gonna use hail to start this fight? This might not go well for you. I guess it works both ways, huh? Fine.
What are you really planning on doing? Yeah, time to cripple ya. A sky uppercut, huh? Good, I gotta cripple your butt. Now responds with a mock punch. Better keep on going. Good, the paralysis worked. It's time I end this little charade. So much for that, Brelu. Now it sends out a Dawn Fan. Shadow Pokemon. Both of our light screens have went offline. And the hail stop, which is multiple static, multiple conditions happening at once. Trio now uses Shadow Break. Ah, for us, you did all you could, my friend. I am sorry. Fine, time to bring out my secret weapon, Wall Ring. Really, you think you're gonna try to do the whole defense rollout combo? No, 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 no. It's not gonna. Yeah, good riddance. Alright, Houndoom is 45. Dunk Trio now responds with a Shadow Sky! Ray does not kill it. And it does, which means I gotta fight Irby again. Fine. I forgot its defenses are just that bad. Yeah! This isn't happening! It's not real! Don't worry, we'll be finding it again. It all depends on, well, Myra B. No response at all means yet not react. We'll just continue on as normal. That was my mistake, unfortunately.
Let's get healed up because this fight, the next part of the fight's gonna get rough. Yeah, we're fighting Eldis. And Eldis has four Shadow Pokemon at his disposal. I'm also going to save my game because I'm not taking chances. Really sucks it had to happen, though. Yeah, because Walrein's special attack was just too strong. And before we end, before we have our final battle, I got to make room for at least one or two Shadow Pokemon on my team. Because I'm going to need to for the end game. Right here. Save. Because the next fight's gonna be hell on earth. I kid you not with that. Let's go. Now we're reaching another part of the lab. Sir, who allowed this child to penetrate our defenses so deeply? What is the meaning of this? The others can't be counted on at all. I'm giving you the responsibility of dealing with this child. You are finally managed to anger Master Greevil. I thought I would end up battling you one day, but this isn't how I had hoped to face you. If we battle, it'll only be unfulfilling and without meaning. Will you challenge me knowing that? Fine, I understand. But once we begin, expect no mercy. That is my philosophy. We now face the second of his second in commands, Eldis. He starts the fight with a ninja acid. Anime neck trick. Yeah, there is a reason why you don't want to deal with something like that. Trust me. Maynetrix a Shadow Pokemon. And yeah, because he has either Static or Lightning Rod. It's all come down to luck. And I should mention one more thing. Eldas has four Shadow Pokemon. One of which we need in, order, in the end game. Maynetrix starts the fight with a Shadow Sky. Maynetrix has Shadow End, Shadow Mist, and Shadow Sky. This is gonna really suck. Yeah, I've made it this far in this game. And I'm seeing it through to the end. Yep, Ninjak's speed boost raised its speed. But sadly, I'm not... Wait, no. Let me body slam it instead. Let's use body slams. Well done. I'm gonna need you much later. Yep, we're bringing in Flygon. We 
to get the catching right here and now. That's one. But the worst is yet to come. He sends out Salamence. Yeah, one of the most dangerous Gen 3 Dragon types ever. If you fought against that, you know you're in for a fight. And it has Intimidate. Really, you're digging underground. That's not even stabby. Seriously. And that's your mistake. Salamence now uses Shadow Hold. Better for us. Get ready to get crippled. This might not be a pretty thing, I swear it. Jazz is using Silver Wind. I thought he'd be crippled with all that. Salamence uses Shadow Rush. Good, so much for that shadowy aura. No, no, you're not even gonna get a chance. You did your best, my friend. Thank you. I did say this fight was going to be painful. I am getting real upset over this. Oh, you protect yourself, that's cute. is going to be needed. Just wow! Nice! Got him! That was good. Now it sends out a Flygon. Yeah, you're paralyzed. You kind of deserve that. Wait, 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 wait. We've 
gotten two of his shadow Pokemon thus far. Are you still gonna repeat the same thing twice? Ryan uses double edge. Hmm. Do you really want to do that? Don't worry, he can tank. They can tank. I can use this time to get my party back up to speed. Yeah, because there are a few left. And that ninjas is getting on my nerves. Yes, you need to die now. Goodbye. You gave me trouble? Now you can go. Now it sends out a Marowak! Another Shadow Pokemon. You know, it would have gotten the Parax. Yes, Static. This annoyance. Get ready to get put on ice. Nice. War Reigns now level forty five. Last but not least, he brings out a Lapras. You can probably guess what this is now. Gotta get everybody up to speed. This is gonna get ugly. Well, that makes it easier. Now Lapras is doing a Shadow Sky. The Shadow Marowak has either Rock Head or Lightning Rod, while the Shadow Lapras has Water Absorb or Shadow Arm. Or Shell Arm. Thank you, you just made my work easier. Thank you, Walrang, you were a lifesaver for this job, and now thanks to you, I now have a chance. I'm gonna grind up at least. The end game is where things are gonna get bad. Thanks to you, Marowak, you just made it easier with the shadow end. You're as good as mine. makes three. Like I said, these battles are a test of attrition. And now Lapras is using Shadow Storm. Yeah, this is gonna suck. I swear, this is gonna suck. Not to mention, Lapras is a tank!
That'll do it. Yeah, we're near the end of the game. Espeon, Houndoom, thank you both. You both have been a big white field. I mean that. And if anything happens, I just try again. Just wait till the end game, though. The end game is where things really gonna be hell. And there's a reason I bought these. Let's put a netball on the Lapras. And that's that. Four Shadow Pokemon caught in one battle. My god. We lost. Totally. Anectric, Salamence, Marowak, Lapras. All of them deposited. You are powerful. Much more than I had imagined. If you aim to stop our plan, then you should keep going. However, the Grandmaster's power is probably far greater than you can imagine. I doubt you will beat the man. It's not that I doubt it, it's that I know it. Dodrio's ready to be purified. We have two more fights left. What madness is this? All of my teammates did their part, and I'm thankful for that. Because pretty soon I have to make sure we reach the end. Huh. <sighs> Let's get the max revive there. Alright, we got it. And what we're seeing up here is basically work on Shadow Pokemon between Zatu and a camera. There's the elevator that's gonna lead to Grable. There's supposed to be some R&Ds. Working at the HQ makes me an elite. What more proof do you need? However bleak the situation, I never give up. Now we fight Cypher R&D Loket. Starts off with a ship breach and a grand ball. Come for us, Espeon. Take him down. Shift restarts the fight with a fake out. Do you really want to do that? Not at all. Oh, 
so much for that grand wall. Now it sends out a mill tank. Shiftry now uses Giga Drain. That will not help you at all. Yeah, my Espeon hits like a truck! Okay, who are you gonna hit the body slam on? Espeon. Come on, do we really have to do this right now? Yeah, so much for that. You're not so tough. Amphoros is now level 45. Now it sends out Armaldo. Better keep on going on the offensive. Thanks for your help, Espeon. Sorry to had to come to you. Fine, time I bring up my own weapon. Fly guy. Nice job, Shiftry. Now it sends out a slacking. Now with that done, let's finally attack. He withstood that. Really, Hyper Beam? Yeah, Hyper Beam's a two-turn attack. It's up to you now, Nuzleaf. I am not dealing with this. That deals with the garbage. Yep, Slacky can tank. Well, the paralysis certainly worked. Really? You're running flamethrower with the slacking? That was weak. Slack and get wrecked. Have a nice day.
Sorry, I give up. But just today. There's one more scientist we have to fight before the end of the game, before we reach the end. My entire team is 45, though I may need to grind up a little bit. Not to mention I have to make room. Okay. Let's get started then, shall we? Thunderstorms above and whirlpools below. What could it be? You have to be kidding though. I don't stand a chance against the guy who thumped all this. Now we face off against the last one, Kalor. Yep, here we go. Let's get started. He starts with a Corsola and a Tentacruel. I start off with my Espeon and my Flygon. Yep, Tentacruel can withstand that. Yep, this is gonna get real bad. Just keep on attacking. It's all we can do. That's more like it. Now we see sent out greatly. I'm gonna make sure my team's at level 50 for this. This will mean a lot of grinding. But it has to be, but it's necessary. The final battle you're gonna fight? You're gonna be fighting against six shadow Pokemon. You're gonna need at least one shadow Pokemon on your team. But it has to be done. Now he sends out next, Mile of Tick. While Cradley actually does a tactical one. We gotta keep on attacking, no matter what it takes. Yeah, the confusion didn't help. And you're actually boosting your special defense? That will not help you at all. Mirror coat. Yep, we should watch out for that. I'll stick with screwing over their stats. But you want to know something really interesting about the last fight? The last fight you have with Reeble? Any Shadow Pokemon you miss catching? You'll have it, regardless. But I've seen YouTubers actually get all six in one go. Now his last one is Gyarados. Now 
Now to screw with his defenses even further. Now his defense, now his defense is at minus four. Waterfalls, huh? Oh, really? You're thrashing about? Is that what you're gonna do? Don't worry, we're gonna restock. We're gonna stock up. Politic now uses Twister! I see! Alright, now we're all set to finish the job. So much for the Gyarados. That is not going to help you out. Good, you flinch. Now let's sink our fangs and deal heavy damage. Yep, this is gonna help us out. A critical hit, but only did normal damage. That's the end of that. Now with a tough opponent. And nice, Flygon is now level 46. Very nice. The correct answer is yes, it's Citadel Dark Isle. Taking care of all the trainers that stood in our way. And can, and now we're about to reach the end game. I'm not gonna lie. The end game is gonna be just as rough. How do I know this? Because I do. And I think that I've decided that next part will be the penultimate. We're gonna tackle the challenge in Real Game Tower. And then next time you see me, will be the final episode. The final episode of the main game. Not the post game, because the post game, there really isn't much. There really isn't much to do after you beat the game. Because I will plan on doing a hundred battle, as well as complete like the requirements needed to get your hands on the lucky egg. So that's it for this part of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. No response at all? Then we're gonna have to wait. That's it. If you enjoy it, like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. It means a lot to me, truly. So yeah, that's it. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out. We're heading to Real Game first. Then we take on Grievel.